My name is Elsa Soro. I hold a PhD in uh, semiotics of communication uh, for the University, for the Autonomous University of Barcelona and the University of Turin. Uh, in Estelea, I'm a lecturer and a researcher in tourism. In the 90s, uh, two British scholars, John Lennon and Malcolm Foley, created the term uh, dark tourism by referring to the phenomena of visiting places uh, related to deaths or catastrophe. Behind the, uh, the academic definition of phenomena that associated travel with the deaths. So before the mediatic boom of the TV show Chernobyl produced by HBO in 2019, already in 2017 here in Australia we have the intuition that there was an increasing uh, interest for traveling uh, to places related to death and catastrophe. The, the intuition was because uh, just for searching uh, on Google the words dark tourism we found lots of lots of entries, lots of more than 10, uh, 50 thousand entry and results. Through the reports, the conclusion was that, that the phenomena encompasses the need of experience, the, real, the need of emotion that is very typical of uh, of the contemporary uh, tourist. Dark Tourist is a is a TV show produced by Netflix. And the TV show really targets the dark tourists. In fact, the protagonist, that is a journalist, that is called David Ferrer, is the typical dark tourist that wants to uh, visit places re uh, related to that, also um, putting his, his same life at risk. But behind the fiction, um, dark tourism is very associated to other, uh, as have two other drivers. So from one side uh, is very similar or can be included within cultural tourism because at the end of the day the dark tourists uh, want to visit places related to uh, an historical memory such as a mausoleum or a memorial. On the other side uh, the dark tourist uh, is a tourist that wants adrenaline, that wants trees, that wants adventure so it also can, can be also included into the segment of adventure and or wilderness uh, tourism, with its own specificity, of course. Well, there is a, a great potential in the in the commercialization, in the commodification of the debt. Uh, this is the entry point uh, for agencies or, or institutions that want or intend to promote uh, dark tourism places. But of course, uh, the, the niches of dark tourism are the same as uh, niches for uh, adventure tourism or experiential tourism uh, or also cultural tourism. This really uh, depends on the destination and on the uh, characteristics of uh, each destination. I just want to point out uh, at, one, at one way uh, with which destination uh, could promote themselves as dark tourist destination. That is uh, uh, related with disaster tourism. So those destinations that were affected by natural disasters such as a hurricane, tsunami or, or the, one of the many others, unluckily with the climate change. So what this destination can do is use tourism as a strategy of recovery or as one of the strategies of recovery. So places such as the Auschwitz-Birkenau uh, camp or the Cambodian killing fields or the ground zero in New York are one of the most well-known uh, dark tourism destinations. It's very dealt with in, in media um, these days is, is the so-called uh, nuclear tourism. And the uh, mediatic boom is of course uh, provoked by the launch of the TV show uh, Chernobyl. Dark tourism in Spain is associated with uh, 
the historical uh, heritage um, of the, the civil war, especially after the, the law of the historical memory in 2017. There was an intention of, um, of preserve and also promote the size uh, and the facts uh, tied to the, the, to the civil war in Spain. My hope towards uh, dark tourism, of course, have to do also with, uh, with uh, some ethical issues that are very core in this kind of tourism, that in some way aim at uh, commercializing, aim, aid, aims at um, commodifying the death and the suffering. So these ethical issues have to do, for example, with the conduct of the same tourists, but also of the institutions that are responsible of preserve uh, and promote uh, locality and destination tied to some kind of, uh, of tragedy. We noticed uh, a, a real interest by, by the students to this kind of tourism. So what, what we can uh, offer to them, well, of course we can offer to them some kind of a tutorship in case they wanted to develop a, a research project in dark tourism. Uh, we also can help them with the dissemination of, in, of academic initiative or just a uh, dissemination initiative uh, related to the phenomena. And also we, we would like maybe in the future to organize some kind of uh, seminars or some kind of workshop uh, about the phenomena. So we are, we are working on, on this, like we are brainstorming on this.